the next part after that is going to be a brief overview of this project so that we're all on the same page. Uh, and then the last part is going to be taking our comments, as John mentioned. That's really the most important part of today's meeting, and it helps us do our environmental analysis. It helps us tailor that analysis to look at the right things. Um, so, the FERC. It's the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. There's actually a commission. Um, that commission is made up of five members, and those five members are appointed by the president, and they are confirmed by the Senate. Um, those commissioners make lots of decisions. They make every decision that comes in front of our agency. And, you know, it's the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. So guess what? All those decisions are energy related. Um, you can guess there's a pipeline project in front of us. <coughs> so their uh, authority has to deal with pipeline projects. Um, in addition to those pipeline projects, we have authority over hydropower dams. Uh, we have projects over uh, liquefied natural gas terminals. They have jurisdiction over natural gas storage projects. Um, and we have the authority to regulate the, the location and the sightings of those projects. Um, in addition to the location and sightings of those projects, the commission is involved with other energy-related topics. So that has to deal with uh, <coughs> transmission lines a little bit. Uh, also, it has to deal with the uh, electric rates. So sometimes you might see or you see in the news relating to some of those topics. Now, before the commission can look at any of these projects or make a decision on any of these projects, we have to do an environmental review. And that environmental review, we have to do that because of something called the National Environmental Policy Act. That was enacted many years ago, uh, and it requires us to look at all kinds of aspects of the environment before they make a decision. Um, so, you know, once we complete that environmental analysis, they can make a decision on whether or not to approve the project. Um, and that's, you know, what we're here to do tonight is get an idea of what to study, what to look at, what to look at in the environment before they can come to any sort of decision. And what we'll talk about here, John will get to in a minute, is what comes out of that environmental analysis. And that is going to be called an environmental impact statement. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, but that environmental study, it's, it's non decisional, it's just a, a statement of the impacts. That's all it really is. It's just looking at how these projects would impact the human environment and the regular environment. So, I'm kind of going over some of the stuff that we do look at. And there's some misconceptions sometimes with. Uh, what we have authority over and what we don't have authority over. So the first thing that we don't have authority over is the production of natural gas. So where natural gas comes out of the ground, we don't have authority over that. Uh, in addition to that, it's <coughs> gathering lines. Those are pipelines that are connected to where natural gas comes out of the ground. Or local distribution of natural gas. Those are little smaller lines that might be going directly into someone's house. Those are literal. We don't have a jurisdiction over those lines. We don't have the authority to regulate. Uh, in addition, we don't establish pipeline integrity standards. Those are obviously extremely important. So they are set by the <coughs> transportation. And you know, since integrity is extremely important, we require any applicant that comes up in front of us to meet those integrity standards. So, with that, it's kind of a little brief overview of the FERC. I'm going to turn things over to John to talk about the environmental review process. 